Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mr. Ebo Richards. I am CEO of Headspan, um, a division of IZ Corp Exchange, and we are watching Headspan Television on um, on IZ Corp Exchange. Um, some interesting things have happened since we've last since we've last met. Um, you know, besides, there's a lot of volatility in the market, and the emerging scene is looking very, very interesting. So um, today we're just going to be discussing a topic that was brought to my attention over the holidays, and I hope everyone had a a nice Fourth of July um, holiday. Um, here we have a we have a you know a little Braga from um, from Braga design, something that we talk about um, clothing that is business leisure clothing. So we're at one of our corporate offices here at um, at, at IZ Corp, and we're just here for a meeting. Um, some people are flu they they come in from Louisiana, and we're discussing. Um, um, you know, we were looking at a deal we're trying to close. We're, well, we're closing actually, and what was brought to the attention was um, during the meeting, um, my my personal assistant and one of my managers um, looked at the, the the evaluating structure and and the deal distribution of. Of what um the, what we do and hedge fund hedge span by the way uh, again is a division of um of of, of IZ Corp Exchange and it, it just does hedge fund research and we're in the middle of actually a um a, a real estate deal a simple real estate deal where you know some buildings were being torn down and we just had to come in and clean up some mess and it was just a lot of loose ends it took a while but now the building has to the property wants to be sold and we're looking for um investors to 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 actually buy the building you know there was an issue of you know the height of the building and you know the the if we could sell more um if we could get more for the buck for square footage as the the building um the building permit people allow you to build up you can get more for the for the dollar it's a nice waterfront property you got to come to Miami and see it it's, it's, it's a wonderful so we're looking at evaluating um, and deals distribution and what comes to mind what was brought to my attention was um, the credit risk management and and you know it involves a, a solution group and I, that's more like what your team is, you know. You come in, and a client, a client must understand the product first. The knowledge of the product gives the offering a better analysis and and perspective within the ongoing, um, the interaction of the of the presentation or proposal, if you will. You know, there's a balance between product and solution. Um, leverage, credit. Um, a strong proven track record diversifying uh, volatility and and capital rounds you know were, were, are all you know um, their competitive advantages that help close the deal or make the deal as and the ever um, evolution as the ever evolution of the clients you know demands you know the, the clients always demanding you know they, they they'll come to the deal They'll they'll say this is what it is this is but then but then they'll see an opportunity and they'll want more, and it's like as you go along it, it can it can get like that if you want the deal. Actually, the competitive advantage and the and the ever evolution of client demands is now going to be a white paper on on Headspan. So look for that on on linked or um, on mixed. dot com. You'll you'll see it pop up. And um, the other important thing was the capital rounds. Um, in this case, the investors come in and they, you know, we we get to structure how much, you know, they get to put down. You know, if they want to put in um, half down, if they want to put in, and we're raising capital actually to build. So you're looking at about, um, we could be looking at about any between between three and thirty million dollars you know and and then you know the capital raising for the project we want to match that so you know your investors come in here's a million here's eight hundred thousand then you you relax it what i like to say relax it and then you come back in and you say okay we're gonna we're gonna raise more money here um the ideology to build and grow potential longer relationships and that's what it is because not only are you doing a deal you're networking if this goes good and those people are happy 
the Louisiana people, they, their investors come in, they're happy. If something comes up on their table, they can say, oh, their accounting was good. Oh, their managers were good. Oh, um, that manager, that, 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 that Mr. Ebo Richards guy, that economist guy, he, he's really on point. And they can introduce us to people and vice versa. So the ideology of hedge funding, really from, from the IZ Corp Exchange perspective, is to, to build and grow a potential longer relationship. Um, interest is profoundly um, aroused in assets and assets under management. So the better you're doing, the more you have, the more you can show, is, is it, it entices the, uh, the, the potential client. A new a catalyst that I've been now noticing is more like the more traditional is the balance sheets um, lending. And this is mostly seen in insurance and risk solutions as, as, um, as high yield. You know, you look for the high yield, you know, not just the high watermark and the benchmarks. You're looking for the high yield, you know, um, like after the fact, you know, if there's any um, passive income, anything that can bring more money is, 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 always a, is always good. And lending on the balance sheets is even better. So, you know, the questions arise in, um, in sector capability. Here we are in a comfortable real estate market in South Florida. Commercial real estate is booming. And, you know, the question always arises, is your sector capable? Are you sector, um, how, how are you in your sector? You know, how are you in, in that kind of thing? Um, technology and only if, you know, for international operations. The digital, the digital challenge is mostly noticed through, through banks. Um, the, the, the more, more and more money, more technology. And, and that's what I say, you know, um, as a fund manager and, and, and overseeing a lot of um, boards and committees. Um, more money, more technology, and you know, competitors are constantly streaming the, the new most popular social media scenes, you know, seeking the, the advantage, seeking the edge, getting the attention, um, um, opening people's minds. Um, economy structure is, is a focus, but more often than not, as it's played down due to, to the fact that it's emerging markets, you know, and technology, you know, these people are coming from the other side of the country. and. Um, what's going on in their economy really doesn't matter you know because we're doing business over here you see what I'm saying? so players cross the board to seek advice advantage and of course core yield and profit and um pretty much in, in the, the hedge fund game and you learn from from following iz corp or even doing business with iz corp exchange is um you know success is the name of the game you know what i'm saying and that's that's pretty much what it's all about you know um Today, success is the name of the game, and, and anybody can bring it. My name is Mr. Ebo Richards, CEO of uh, IZ Corp Exchange. Um, we're doing um, Headspan, which is a division of IZ Corp Exchange, and you have been watching um, Headspan Television. Um, thank you, and have a great day.